Hi, my name is Keith Cooper from North Light Images and in this video I'm going to have a look at a question I'm asked quite often about the best printer settings for detail for the Canon Pro 300 printer. Now, one of the things is that you get to set when you print, you have a choice of different settings. You also have a choice of how much detail you send to the printer driver. And uh, these figures are often argued about as to what's best, what's worst. And I decided, well, a lot of this information might be somewhat out of date and um, I'd have a go and see what it's like. So have a done it. Taking a photograph, which is a 50 megapixel image taken up in the Yorkshire Dales in the UK. And there's a lot of detail in the picture. In fact, as a 50 megapixel image, there's more than enough of you know, detail in it to print at A2 size. So these little test prints I'm making, which are five by sevens, are there's vastly more information than you need in it in detail. And what I wanted to see was, if I send more detail, do I get sharper pictures? Um, and this is something that's argued over quite a lot. And I always say, if you're unsure of these things, test them. Anyway, how have I gone about it? What I've taken is this image here, which if you shrink it down and just, uh, you don't lose any information. If you shrink it down to about five by seven, you get a size of about 1200 pixels per inch of detail. Now that's a ludicrously high number and you would never normally print at that resolution. I wanted to see that uh, if I reduced the resolution, what difference it would make. So. Here's the image, uh, the 1200 uh, pixels per inch one, and down to 600, and that's 300, and that's 460. Why the numbers? Well, you'll often see people say you should send stuff to the printer at 300 ppi. Now that's pixels per inch, that's not dots per inch. Dots per inch is, as I'll show when I show some detailed images here, Dots is actual ink dots, uh, and several ink dots go to make up a pixel if it's going to show different colors and things like that. So dots per inch tends to be much higher. Pixels per inch is the actual image resolution. Now, as I say, this is a 50 megapixel image, and one of the things is the number 300 appears a lot in the Canon drivers. Um, if you look at it, you'll see it the 300, various resolutions and settings, you'll see this number appears. And a lot of people have assumed that there's something special about the number, and that's the number you should use. And if you've got an image at, say, 320 pixels per inch, it was better to reduce it to 300 and print it at 300. Um, I've wondered about this. I can see reasons why it might have been true, true 15, 20 years ago, but I don't think it's currently so. So... Yeah, as with all of these things, if you're unsure, experiment. And I would say, have a look at the written article I've got that goes along with this. That's got much more detail in the images. You can click on them, have a look at them, and uh, have a look for yourself and see what you think about the actual values here. Because there's a difference between being able to see a difference in really fine detail when you look at it and you magnify it a lot and in an actual print. So anyway, what I've done is I've produced these pictures, uh, two per sheet on a luster paper, and I've used the two settings. There are only two print settings available on the Pro 300 driver. Uh, that's standard and highest. So I've produced pictures at standard and highest, and I've printed them out, the versions of the image, at 300, 600, 1200, and 460. Why 460? Well, it's part of the way between uh, 300 and 600. And what I really wanted to see was if there's a clear difference between 300 and 600, well, good. If, 600, if 460 comes out similar to 360, it shows there's a stepwise progression in it. If 460 is a bit better than 300 and a bit worse than 600, it shows there's a gradual progression. And the point of that is to show that you can send any old resolution to the printer driver. My suspicion is, and this comes partly from looking at other printers as well, is that printer drivers these days are capable of much more sophisticated resampling and calculations they do and can handle these 
odd numbers. And in fact, they're not odd numbers anymore. Uh, they were, as I say, 15, 20 years ago, but not now. But anyway, here's the, uh, here's the image. Now, this image here, I'm going to look at some really tiny detail on it. It's a you know, dry valley. There are some sheep and there are some cows in it. I very much doubt you can see them on here. I'll insert a few details on here, but if you want to see the proper details, have a look at the written article because it's got the actual images there. But let's have a look. If I zoom in, there is the detail that I'm talking about. Um, there's some cows, some dry stone walls, feature of the area. And when you're looking at detail, there are some small vertical posts in it. Now this is massively zoomed in to the 50 megapixel image. There's a lot of detail there. I'll just zoom out again so you can see it is a tiny part of the, even on this screen, it's no more than an inch or so across. But there we go, back up to, there's a zoomed in version. What does it look like when I print it? Now remember, I'm printing this at standard and I'm printing it at the highest setting. I'll start off with, this is 300 pixels per inch of image detail printed at the standard setting. As you see, they're quite large drops of ink. One of the things with Canon printers at this level is there is no variable ink size. You get uh, droplets of ink, they're positioned, they give a, an image. It's only at the higher levels where there is more control over it. So you tend to get a fairly coarse dot pattern. Remember again though, how much this is magnified. Um, this cow here is barely visible on these shots here. Uh, I would need to put strong glasses on to see it clearly. I can just about see it. These are my sort of computer mid distance glasses. And I can just about see a brownish dot on the picture. So there's not much there. So this 300 at standard detail. Let's go to highest detail. There's not a lot of difference between them on this particular paper. Now, in looking at the images on a larger scale, which is of course what you would normally do in, in if you're printing to make photos here and prints, you're not going to be looking at them at minuscule detail. The image is slightly smoother, it's less bitty, less grainy look to the image if you use the highest setting. That's noticeable in the skies, various other features like that. So between the two settings here, in looking at this, I've immediately decided that the highest setting is worth doing. Now, for some printers, if you go for the highest print setting, you're getting no more real detail. Here, we've only got standard and highest, um, and the highest, does look better in pictures. So it's, it's really a simple choice just to use the highest. Now I'm gonna step through the resolutions. This is 300, that's so at highest, so 300 at highest resolution, 460, 600, and 1200. I'll just go back again, 1200, 600, 460 to 300. What differences am I seeing? Not that much, but there is real detail in the image. And this is the one at 600. Uh, you can see signs of the vertical posts uh, showing up in the image here. And what it tells me in looking at these is that there is a steady improvement in image detail as you go beyond 300. Why is that important? It means if I have an image that I want to print and its natural resolution is, let's say, 412 pixels per inch, then print it at 412. You'll get more detail. Now, there's lots of other things that affect photos, which I'll just mention a bit later, but in terms of pure fine detail, it looks as if anything up to 600 is fine. Now, in looking at these in more detail, I'm fairly sure there is a minuscule change between 600 and 1200. There's no steady improvement beyond 600. It's just not there. My, I, I think it's because the dots, the ink dots are just too coarse. You're not getting the very fine detail on it. But, and I do keep reminding of this, this is the sort of detail that to see it visually, I need to get my old hand lens out. And this is back from when I used to be a geologist. And it is very difficult to see the difference. Doesn't make much of a difference. But if you've got 
image with fine detail, print it with fine detail. Um, so what would I do for printing with the Canon Pro 300? Well, this actually makes it a very easy choice. It's not much fast, not much slower to print on the highest quality setting. So print on the highest quality setting and send whatever image resolution you have to the print. Now, I mentioned before, there are lots of other things that affect prints. Sharpening, contrast, processing. Those are things that people see when they look at a print. In fact, most people, when they look at a print of this, if they know the area, they're looking, trying to identify where it is, um, or there's some other feature of the landscape that they're looking at. Remember, it is only photographers who obsess over print details, and only a subset of those photographers, I should say. Not all photographers are bothered by this. I always remember that in terms of prints, and I produce quite large prints, anybody who comes up to one of my prints and looks at it at this distance is never going to buy one. Only other photographers care about such stuff. I would say that this is interesting to know because it helps you get the best quality out of your images. But your real thought needs to go into what are the images, what's in, what, you know, what do they consist of, uh, all those little bits of editing and the photography skills behind it. But you know, I've answered the question I wanted here, which is what settings should I pick and do they make any difference? Yes, they do. And just to finish off on one thing that I haven't addressed. What about if I've got less resolution? Now, I've looked at this, I've got some articles about it and there's a few videos related to it, but I certainly want to look at this when I next get a large printer to look at, larger than the smaller desktop printers I've been looking at, because there you might have an image where you've only got 150, 180 pixels. What do you do? What about some of the new software packages? Now, I've written about using AI Gigapixel, Gigapixel AI, uh, to resample images and how it can be useful for things. But there are lots of different ways of going about it and how you edit your images, what you do with them. But in terms of this one here, in terms of printing this particular image at any size, send all the resolution you've got. Now, I hope that's been of use. If you've got any questions, please do ask in the questions for the video, the comments with it, because uh, they do help me, guide me in what people are interested in and what people, what problems people have relating to printing and other stuff like that. Got lots more. Please subscribe to the channel if you find it useful. Um, I've got many more things like this I intend to cover and uh, I hope they're useful for you. So thank you.